Well, hello, I'm Scott. I'm Laurie. And welcome to the uh, Marketplace Ministry Training, our live Facebook show today. Yeah. And uh, we are here in our home office. Our home office together is the kitchen. <laughs> right behind me, you'll see a door. That's my office. And, and mine's down the hall. Laurie's got one down the hall. But when we do this show, we're live from our kitchen. <laughs> and we're looking out at um, the Tetons. And yep, it's snowy and cold. But hey, thanks uh, for joining us live, and go ahead and let us know uh, who you are and where you're from. You can just type a comment in, and supposedly we can see the comments, but um, sometimes we wonder about that. <laughs> and also, if you have any questions about what we're going to be sharing today, you can ask a question at any time. It's a good show. And we will get to any questions at the end. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great show today. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about something that might uh, be challenging for some of you. <laughs> uh, but if you're called to marketplace ministry, it's also a, a calling to uh, have integrity. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you a specific example from our own business right. that we know many of you can relate to because we, we know a lot of you that watch this have are involved in different businesses and um, some of you are involved in network marketing industry as we are, and this will apply specifically to that, but the principle is going to apply to everybody. That's for sure. So um, we're going to start with just a few, a couple of scriptures and a few comments in our slides, and then we're going to come back and just share uh, some things with you that uh, we believe will be a blessing. Right. So let's just go to our slides for starter. And, you know, we love this picture. This is a picture of <clears throat> the movie that's playing in your mind <laughs> at any second, any minute of, of the day when you're awake and at night, of course, you dream. But we're all projecting <clears throat> something on the screen of our minds. Mm -hmm. And what is being projected is really what people are going to sense from you. Maybe not see but they will um, have a sense of what is going on in your head. Right. And if what's being projected in your mind is different than what you're projecting from your mouth or your actions, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> so um, for sure. <clears throat> we're going to start, um, we're just calling this integrity of the upright, and it's from this scripture. In Proverbs it says, the integrity of the upright will guide them but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Yeah, and so, you know, that's a harsh word, the perversity of the unfaithful. What that means, again, is uh, kind of like a duplicity. Um, yeah. Thinking, or having, having a, a motive or a goal in our mind and not being honest about that. Mm -hmm. So honesty is marked as being free from deceit or untruthfulness, mm -hmm. or being sincere. Mm -hmm. And a call to marketplace ministry should be one marked with integrity and honesty. Uh, yet, because we all find it easy to fall short, honesty is something we must work hard at. Right. There's no doubt about <clears throat> that for me. Um, and when it comes to business, often there can be kind of we think we need to exaggerate or or you know or not. say something that people <clears throat> want to hear yeah instead of, yeah it's just common in yeah in this so let us be example of, of god's truth in life by living lives of integrity and truthfulness yeah and and it, it reads a little different than when what you just oh, sorry. said sorry but to let us be examples of a God of truth. A God of truth, of yeah. course. And, you know, so can people read your mind? Well, Jesus could. Well, <laughs> here's a scripture. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? Now, the context of this is uh, Jesus is in the synagogue mm. on a Sabbath day, and there is a man with a withered hand, mm -hmm. and um, everybody's wondering if Jesus is going to heal on the Sabbath on the Sabbath and the Pharisees in the synagogue are thinking to themselves about this uh -huh. and um, they didn't say anything it was just their thinking yet Jesus <laughs> knew what they were thinking right and 
you know, this could either be he literally knew their exact thoughts or he just knew, you know, because of previous encounters what they were thinking. Right. But uh, the bottom line is what we project, what the Pharisees were projecting within themselves was easily picked up upon mm -hmm. by Jesus and other people as well. Mm -hmm. So it is possible for people to, quote, read your mind, not word for word, unless there's some kind of supernatural prophetic word. Uh, perceive your intent. But yes, um, the thoughts of your heart. There so, and we've said this already, the movie playing in your mind is the movie others see, no matter what you say or do. That's important. It's worth repeating. The movie playing in your mind is the movie others see, mm -hmm. no matter what you say or do. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a wrong intent. It could be just being insecure. Right. Uh, that could affect uh, your sales uh, pitch or something like that to, to somebody else. So what movie is playing in your mind? And, you know, we're going to talk a bit about that with you. Mm -hmm. And we want to give you an example. Mm -hmm. So people who are in network marketing, either have a product or service. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that market, distribute uh, these products and services on behalf of some company. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully you have a really good product yeah. or a really good service because if you don't, it really makes it difficult in Definitely. this industry. Mm -hmm. So uh, usually the products are very good or the mm -hmm. service is very good. Mm -hmm. And... Um, <clears throat> There's two approaches. Uh, a lot of people are very content and just want to be retailers of mm -hmm. the product or service. Mm -hmm. You can earn a, your largest profit margin by retailing the product to others. Mm -hmm. A lot of network companies, um, network marketing companies aren't really set up to market a product at full retail. They're kind of set up as a discount buying. Uh, True. A business model. In other mm -hmm. words, you become a distributor so you can buy product or services at a cheaper price at a at a wholesale price. Right. Uh, because honestly, the re retail price probably isn't for real. There's not a, a real value <laughs> there. Um, but there are other companies. Um, one that we're involved with, for example, where the retail value of the product is definitely. Or the every penny. Um, worth it, and uh, therefore it's more like a traditional business. People that don't want to be involved as a distributor are more than happy to pay full retail mm -hmm. for the price of the product. Right. And um, so some people are happy just retailing, right? That's right. And so they, they will retail product to friends, family, things like that, mm -hmm. and make some extra money. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't make a lot of money in network marketing just retailing product. Uh, most people aren't salespeople anyways, mm -hmm. so uh, there's definitely not any serious income to earn. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other approach is people who want to earn an income you can live on. And that's uh, having to understand that building a distribution network Mm -hmm. is what needs to happen <clears throat> in your business. So it's not just retailing product. Mm -hmm. It's um, having other people join you in your business as distributors, and that's called your downline. Mm -hmm. and, and they're all doing some kind of volume in, in sales, whether it's retail or wholesale. But they're in business for themselves to build their own business. Right. Um, and so you're building this distribution network. Mm -hmm. And a, a, a little bit of sales times a lot of people in your downline equals large volumes mm -hmm. of product or services being moved. Mm -hmm. And you can earn a really good income mm -hmm. uh, when you build a large distribution network. Mm -hmm. um, it pays you month after month. It pays you month after month. It's that residual income. Right. So one word picture I use to help people understand what this is like is um, it's perfect illustration as we're standing here in our kitchen. 
So if we go and turn that water faucet on, uh, what happens? Well, water comes out. Yeah. If you live in a city or township that, uh, and you, you um, receive your water from a municipal uh, water source, in other words, a big water tank somewhere, um, that's where the water's coming from. Well, when that water's sitting in that tank, and there's no distribution system or pipeline to get it to your house, it's not going to do you or anybody else any good. So what had to happen? Someone had to build that pipeline, that distribution network to get the water to every home in your township or in your city. Mm -hmm. And um, they were obviously paid to do that. Mm -hmm. And then once it came to your house, guess what happened? Mm -hmm. There was a water meter hooked up. <laughs> it measures all the water that you use from that system. And then at the end of the month, you're sent a bill based on the volume of water that you've used for the month. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's a flat rate uh, up to a point and then you're charged. But however, you're charged. And, um, you know, to build a distribution network, the beautiful thing about uh, doing that is, number one, you're paid to build the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So you're paid to build that distribution network. But then, as product, your product or your service is moving through that distribution network, there is a meter. It's usually the company that, that we'll you're that. working mm -hmm. with tracks the amount of volume flowing through your distribution network. Mm -hmm. And instead of you paying them, they pay, they you. pay you based on the volume. Right. So um, this illustration, what's this have to do with integrity? Well... A lot. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, most people would love to build a distribution network mm -hmm. and take advantage of more than just retail income. Right. They'd they want like that residual income. Residual income. Mm -hmm. They'd like to see wholesale income, bonuses, things All of like that. It. Right. They really add up. Um, and here's what we've learned we've been in this industry, well, I have for Gosh, almost 25 years mm -hmm. combined, but uh, 15 years with uh, our, one, with our one company we work with, mm -hmm. with our current business, mm -hmm. and um, we have a really good product. So uh, there's this idea in people's minds that um, if they go to their friends, family, uh, people they would like to be in business with, uh, with the product. And because the product's really good, they'll get them using the product, and through that product use, they'll then want to come in to the business as a distributor. And that's really a backdoor approach to bringing someone into your downline. And mm -hmm. let us explain why. Mm -hmm. So I'm that person, okay, mm -hmm. that wants to build a distribution network. Yes. And I come to Lari. The movie playing in my mind is building a, dis a distribution network. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for other distributors. Right. So when I go to Lari with a product and I say, oh, th we have this amazing product. You really uh, need to check it out. It's awesome. Um, if that movie's playing in my mind, what, what, well, how's quite it, what, frankly, I know happen? that you're probably wanting to get me to join you. Right. You know, in something, not just give me a product. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's probably true with most companies these days. Sure. So, um, that's, so I would think that you're not being forthright with me. Yeah. You know, and with I'm, the whole thing. And the truth is, I'm not being honest. Right. Uh, because what I want to do yes. is sponsor you into my downline. Mm -hmm. But I'm not coming to you up front with the business right. and saying, hey, yeah. I've got a phenomenal business opportunity. I don't know if it's for you or not, but you really need to check it out. Right. Now I'm being honest. Right. Because that's the movie playing in my head. And and now, if I approach you that way... I, I definitely tend more lean into saying, what is it? And, you know, obviously you believe in this because you're coming to me with a business opportunity, right. which I like. <laughs> and I'm not deceiving no, her. No. I'm being straightforward. Right. This is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Instead of 
in my mind wanting to do this, but approaching you. Um, kind of from the side. Yeah. <laughs> Instead like, of straight forward. Right. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> People pick up on that. They really do. And they don't like it. And <clears throat> that's when the walls come up and, and all yeah. of that. Now, if you're a retailer and that's, that's what you, you want to do, then that's, that's the, the movie right playing in your mind. Exactly. And if you, if I were that person mm -hmm. approaching Laurie, um, she'd have no problem with, right. you know, any kind of disconnect from what's playing in my mind and how I'm approaching her. Right. So this is what we mean by having integrity in the marketplace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in your business, in your career, you have certain goals, certain things you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> um, to walk integrity, you, you need to be honest with people about what your true intentions and mm -hmm. motives are. Mm -hmm. Number one, you'll be received so much better. <laughs> so um, true. You know, the, the backdoor approach uh, to get a person into your downline through the product, mm -hmm. it, trust us, it does not work. Mm -hmm. You may get a few people, but um, if you understand this type of business model, it's all about duplication or multiplication. Mm -hmm. So if I have this approach with, with Laurie of going to her with a product to try to get her into my downline mm -hmm. because she likes the product so much, um, guess what she's going to do? I'm going to turn around and approach people with a product. Right. Which Same takes a way. long time and, you know, who knows if that's going to ever work. Yeah. And you've just taught someone to... Not be totally honest. Yeah, I mean, in a way, <clears throat> there was a there was um, one company I was with years ago. This was back in the early '80s. Take a and guess. <laughs> they would. Um, I was actually taught to trick people oh. to see how the business works, and boy, that sure didn't work well. No, but of course uh, not. You know, this idea of trying to get people to do something you would like them to do through a, an, a kind of a, a different approach than just saying, hey, I'm building a business. Uh, I'm looking for people that are looking for an opportunity. Right. I don't know if this is for you or not. Everybody's looking for extra income. Yeah. Believe me, a lot more than, you know, health or, you know, some other benefit. Yeah. People are looking for... Another stream of income or replace an income. So the bottom line is that honesty is the best policy. Yeah. And as believers, as Christians, as followers of Christ, it's so absolutely important to be honest. Right. It, it will make a huge difference. God blesses it, of course, mm -hmm. because it's his word. That's right. what he wants to see from us. Mm -hmm. And... Those people you approach, they're, they're going to respect you. <laughs> Even though they may not be interested, they're going to have a respect for you. Mm -hmm. They're going to be very um, appreciative that you didn't try to trick them into what, <clears throat> what you would like them to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, we, we wanted to share this because we know a lot of people who watch our our shows, whether live or, or the recorded version, um, are either in a network marketing opportunity or have been in the past. And mm -hmm. this may be one of the reasons you may have failed in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you want to build a distribution network to take advantage of all the different ways you can earn income through your particular uh, opportunity, understand uh, that you need to approach people. We call it lead with the business. Yes. And then you're going to validate the business with your product or and service. And what the product is doing. And so you'll have every opportunity to talk about your great product or your great service mm -hmm. because you wouldn't have a business without it. Exactly. Um, but because you've led with the business, you've been honest, you've, been, you've walked in integrity, mm -hmm. and, you know, people obviously are going to want to know about the product that your business has been. And so here's another great thing about being honest is that 
Um, so I come to Alari with a business opportunity based on an amazing product, mm -hmm. and she's not interested in the business. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested. I don't think that that's for me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, but you're really going to want to know about these products. I know you've been dealing with uh, some issues, and I know people personally that have had amazing results with similar issues. Oh, okay. So maybe, uh, so let's, you know, would you be interested in learning more? Yes, I would. Okay. Yeah. So you see what happened here is that even though she wasn't interested in the business, I could fall back on the product. Mm -hmm. And now maybe I have a customer. Let's say I do have a customer mm -hmm. and I do good follow up with her. Um, I start getting results. Yeah, and she starts thinking. I remember yeah. that he said something about a business because I'm thinking about other people that need this product. And so what a great opportunity for her to now take uh, a look at the business. Exactly. Now, when you do the opposite and you lead with that product, uh, Larry, we've got this amazing product. You really need to check it out. Um, it's just doing amazing things for people. Um, you know, it's a new business I've started. Uh, you really need to, to check this product out. <laughs> that wouldn't intrigue me as much, definitely. Well, so let's say she says, no, I'm not really interested in the product. Yeah. Then what do I do? You're not going to follow up with the business. Okay. Why would she be interested? Yeah, I have no fallback. <laughs> I can't say, well, well, maybe you'd be interested in the business then. <laughs> See, it doesn't work. Not There's really. There's <laughs> no interest in the product. There's no interest in the business. So it's a, one's a lose-lose scenario. The other's a win-win scenario. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, I hope that helps some of you. And mm -hmm. even if you're not in network marketing, mm -hmm. this applies to whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. Because it, it makes, it, it is a game changer because there's integrity. Right. And the movie you're projecting in your mind is consistent with the message you're projecting from your mouth. Right. And when those two line up, uh, there's no double-mindedness, it's single-mindedness, and the people you're working with um, see you as a person of integrity, mm -hmm. changes everything. Totally. And, and, um, and even in corporate America, when people are working uh, for you, uh, say you're in a management position, if you're mm -hmm. honest with them and you come to them with, um, you know, a quota or a certain thing, um, instead of coming to them sideways to try to motivate them or whatever, if you're just honest with them, it's going to actually reflect on them as being better employees by you being honest with them. You're going to get more from them by coming to them and saying, come on, let's work as a team. These are the things we need to do. Let's, let's get this done. We could do this together. You know, it's not just going to promote that manager, that position that you're in or whatever higher position you're in. It's going to benefit those people that are working and that make them look good and all of you as a team. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Very important. Um, what movie is playing in your mind? <laughs> It's important you know right so that you can line up with that <clears throat> exactly and maybe you have to change that movie mm -hmm. um, to, to be more uh, in line with what you you want to do mm -hmm. so uh, that's our training for today mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> then whoops why aren't we uh, there we go <laughs> So, are you ready to serve, serve God, God, change lives, and earn income? income? Of course you are. What a rhetorical <laughs> question. Um, that's why we do this training. And, you know, let other people know about it. It's every Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Mm -hmm. there's, it's free. Plus, it's there's a perks. lot of benefits. I mean, we try to give biblical training for those called to marketplace ministry that, that will really make a difference. Yes. And uh, yeah, by registering for each show, um, you can stay in the loop. We send out email and, and text messages mm -hmm. or messenger messages and we've uh, just got to this remind you. Great uh, guide, free guide, uh, five steps in detoxing your brain from toxic thinking. 
You yeah. can actually grow your brain. Did you know that? <laughs> uh, Dr. Carolyn Leaf, she's an amazing... Um, Neuroscientist. Yeah, just amazing and research it, she's done. It's amazing, yes. And, um, of course, every week we uh, have a random drawing of everyone who's registered. Uh -huh. And you can win... Um, uh, life, or excuse me, a one-year membership. membership to Team, Team Life. Life. So, and it's and this week's winner is Janine Brown. All right, that's one Brown winner Hemsford, because Louisiana. we have two this week because last week uh -huh. oh. uh, we didn't have a winner. All right, uh, so um, the second winner is <laughs> Matthew Prindle Matthew from Prindle. Portland, Oregon. So yes. congratulations, you guys win. An annual membership to Team Life. <laughs> and we will be in touch with you with details on how you can request that membership. And uh, so <clears throat> just an update. Um, you know, I shared last week that uh, my mom fell, broke her hip, and had to have hip replacement surgery. Right. Well, she's doing well. She's in the rehab center and getting stronger every day. Uh -huh. And so... I wanted to just update you with that and let you, uh, just so grateful for your Thank prayers. Thank you for prayers, yes. And continue to pray again. It's really she's, amazing how quickly she's recovering. Yeah, she's 81 years old. Amazing. And we have a goal to get her out of that facility back into her home by uh, November 20th. So pray for that yes. or sooner. That would be great. And uh, we really appreciate you and your prayers. So right. until next week, we will... Um, see you then. Until then. God bless. Stay warm wherever you are. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.